I'm Devo Brown with entertainment. Model Kate Upton weighed in on the Me Too movement with a tweet directed toward guest co-founder Paul Marciano last month. Now she's released the details of the alleged sexual misconduct. After sending out a tweet calling out the fashion mogul, Upton has spoken out about the alleged harassment she faced by Marciano. In an interview with Time, Upton speaks of an incident at a shoot in 2010 when she was just 18 years old. She says, quote, As soon as I walked in with photographer Yu Say, Paul came straight up to me, forcibly grabbed my breasts and started feeling them, playing with them actually. After I pushed him away, he said, I'm making sure they're real. Upton alleges Marciano continued to be dominant and aggressive throughout the meeting, despite a photographer being in the room. A month later, at another shoot, Upton alleges Marciano kept calling to visit her hotel room. She declined several times. Upton alleges she was told the next day that she had been fired from the shoot because she had gotten fat. Marciano has denied the accusations made by Upton. Meanwhile, the Santa Monica Police Department have confirmed they are investigating Backstreet Boys singer Nick Carter after he was accused of sexual assault. Last November, singer and actress Melissa Schumann alleged that Carter raped her at his home in 2003. Schumann posted this tweet yesterday saying, I'm finally doing what I thought I could no longer do. I'm filing a police report. Carter stated in November that he believed everything the two did was consensual. The widow of Richard Pryor has confirmed the late comedian slept with Marlon Brando. The confirmation comes after music mogul Quincy Jones stated in a recent interview with Vulture that Brando and Pryor hooked up. Pryor's widow, Jennifer Lee, told TMZ that Pryor was always open about his bisexuality with his friends and family. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.